Hello everyone, in this video we will take a look at the serverless workflow Java SDK. Serverless workflow is a CNCF specification that defines a declarative workflow model. You can use it to orchestrate event-driven serverless applications on both cloud or container platforms. On the website you can go to the GitHub link, which will take you to the re GitHub repository. Here you find the SDK Java project that includes all the sources of this Java SDK. Now, the SDK is not a runtime implementation. However, it provides a bunch of uh, useful utilities. One of them is you can parse both JSON and YAML definitions into a Java object model uh, that corresponds to the specification. Also, it allows you to programmatically build workflow definitions using the uh, internal API that it provides. It uh, provides workflow validation, which includes both uh, validation against the specification JSON schema, as well as workflow integrity validation. And you can also use it to generate a workflow diagram. It will give you back an SVG source that then you can display uh, where you would like to, to do that. Now, since it is a Java SDK, you can use it in pretty much any Java application or environment. For the sake of this demo, I will use Micronaut. So in my machine, I have it already installed, so I can use the mn command. I can say mn create app um, io.mysw demo, and I will put it in a directory just called demo. So this has already created uh, my Micronaut demo application. So I can see cd demo. And at this point, you can use the editor of your choice. For me, it's going to be IntelliJ. So let's go ahead and open this project in our editor. It's going to start importing all kinds of stuff um, so we can run that in the background. Now, um, since Micronaut created our application, it's, it's, a, it's going to build with Gradle. We have to start adding the serverless workflow Java SDK dependency store project so we can start using it. For this, let's go to build.gradle. And let's go back to the specification um, readme file where we can see down here for Gradle projects, we have to add two Maven uh, repositories to our uh, Gradle build. So under repositories here, we add, we can just cut and paste them here. This will add the Sonatype snapshot repository and also the Jitpack to resolve some internal uh, dependencies. Uh, we also now have to add the actual dependencies to the serverless workflow Java API. Um, the API one is required. The SPI validation and diagram are not, but if you would like to use this feature, you have to add them in there. So let's go ahead and cut and paste all of them under our dependencies. All right. And let's rerun the build to make sure that we get all those dependencies in there. Um, under our source test directory, Micronaut has created for our application already a demo test and we can open it up and start using it. So let's go back again to the readme file. Now, uh, you can easily go from a valid or a JSON or YAML definition into a workflow object. This is the API workflow object that represents your actual uh, serverless workflow uh, with the Java API. Um, for the demo, we're going to show off the uh, use of the Builder API, which is a completely program programmatic approach uh, to build your workflow definitions. So we can go ahead and cut and paste the simple example into our test class. Um, and okay, the functions needs to be resolved still. So it's IO Serverless Workflow API workflow uh, package. And what we have here is a test workflow, workflow, which basically has an ID test workflow, a name, a version. It has a couple of event definitions, a couple of function definitions, and it has a single state, which is of type uh, delay state um, that has a timeout of one minute. So a very simple example. Now, once we have this definition, we would like to validate it as well. So let's go down here as to how to use workflow validation and we can just cut and paste these two lines here so I don't have to uh, type in and make some mistakes. So we have a workflow validator class uh, which we give it our test workflow in this case and we just say validate and this gives us back a list of validation errors. 
So let's just go ahead and use a J, a J unit here. And we want to make sure that our validation should be a comma. Validation errors dot size. So our size of our errors is zero. Basically, we want to say, hey, we want to make sure that there are no validation errors for this workflow definition that we have here. So let's go ahead and run this test now. And we should get no errors in this case. All right. So let's go ahead and show off uh, validation a little bit. Let's go ahead and remove uh, the ID. Now, ID is one of the required parameters in the specification JSON schema, and our workflow now doesn't have it. And in this case, what we want to do is let's put a breakpoint here and actually see if we have any validation errors or not. So let's go ahead and debug this test. And in this case, it should fail, as we see here that our validation errors have one error. So we do have a validation error here. And the validation error says workflow ID should not be empty. So you can use this Java SDK for uh, validating your, your workflow definition. So in this case, it should fail. So let's go ahead and add our ID back. Now, the next thing we want to do in our demo is to generate the diagram SVG image. So let's go again back to our readme file, uh, which is nice. It has a bunch of different examples. So here uh, we can see that we can pay, cut and paste the example from here into our test class. And what we're going to do, we have a workflow diagram um, interface, which we give it our test workflow. And just by that, the workflow diagram um, is going to give us back a diagram SVG. Now this throws an exception, so you have to uh, th try and catch it. In our case, we're just going to tell our uh, class that it throws exception, so that will be shown uh, during uh, the run of this test. Um, now let's go ahead and make sure that we have a, a actually uh, a SVG a diagram SVG is not null. So we can actually set a breakpoint here. All right. And we want to actually go ahead and see uh, what the generated runtime um, uh, diagram actually gives us. Now remember our workflow has only a single state, which is a delay state with a one minute timeout. Okay. So let's go ahead and debug this test again. So we can actually see the SVG that uh, gets generated. So here we are, uh, we see under a variables diagram SVG, we can go ahead and copy the value It's, it's a long SVG string. Uh, and then you can basically go back to, for example, an SVG viewer. Um, this is SVG viewer dev, I can paste my SVG in here. And there it is. This is our delay state with PT1M. And uh, we can visualize uh, the programmatically Java uh, generated uh, workflow using the serverless workflow Java SDK.